Doctors at Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters are working on groundbreaking research that could one day help certain children avoid surgery. Doctors there are looking to unlock the mystery behind so-called sunken chest syndrome. It's a deformity that can impair a person's breathing and heart function. Tell your side health reporter Stephanie Harris joins us now. And Stephanie, doctors think this is genetic? Well, that is the theory, Nicole. You see, back in the early 90s, Dr. Donald Nuss developed a minimally invasive procedure to correct pectus excavatum, or sunken chest syndrome. Now, since then, doctors at CHKD have noticed many families who've come to them have more than one child with this deformity. You can tell these three are related. They share the same brown hair color, <laughs> slender build, and love of athletics. They like wrong distance and track and stuff. What you don't see is they also shared the same sunken chest. This is how 17-year-old Devin looked two years ago when he first came to Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters. This is 12-year-old brother Brian last week. And, well, you can just take 15-year-old sister Mara's word for it. Dr. Ann Kuhn says because of the Lee family and others, doctors at CHKD are now researching a possible genetic cause for the deformity whose technical name is pectus excavatum. And we're looking at trying to find if there's a protein that gets coded by genes that is perhaps contributing to the pectus. Stuff might be, huh? <laughs> Seems yeah. obvious to mom <laughs> Susan Lee, who volunteered her kids for the study. To unlock the secrets of what causes this and, you know, possibly prevent it, that would be terrific. Dr. Kuhn cautions that is way in the future. And once we figure out exactly what might be causing it or what gene sequence, then we can maybe start on looking at is there another way we can treat this rather than surgical. Surgery gave the Lee boys these new chests and stamina. It definitely changed things for um, for swim team because I was able to go farther. And, and it's given Mara the drive to become a genetic researcher. I could possibly work on it when I get my degree, which would be cool. And the coolest part might be preventing future generations of their family from suffering with sunken chests. Now, if you or a family member has pectus excavatum and would like more information on the study or the surgery to repair it, go to wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.